Hi everyone, Colin here. In this video, this is part two of using Domino REST APIs with static site generation. In this video, we're going to take a look at the simple Domino app uh, for product management and how we'll use Domino REST APIs to get, out, get data out of it. And let's take a look at the Domino app to start with. So the app itself is nothing crazy. It's got product categories, which the company manufactures and sells solar products. So there's batteries, cables, charge controllers, solar panels, and, and more, of course. And then a bunch of products within these categories. And within each product, you've got a product code, category, product name, and a description. So keeping it pretty simple. And using the Domino REST APIs, as you've seen, um, no need to do a series on setting that up because that's already been done lots of times and the docs are pretty good. So follow the docs, go through the tutorials. Um, you can go through the admin inf interface, set up this, the schema, set up uh, the scope. And so we're here in this database and the configured form is product. And, and actually, sorry, I'll open it up in Designer quick. So here's that product. You can see there's product code, the category name, product name and description, and there's a hidden field um, that, that captures the unique ID as is pretty customary. Okay, so here it is through the REST API configuration, and they're not in the same sequence, but you've got the category code, category name, product name, and description. Additionally, there's a view called products that will return the fields needed. It, it won't, it'll return everything except the description actually. So let's take a look at how that comes through the REST API. And in order to do static site generation, we're going to need something to key the product off of. And we could use the UN ID, but it'll end up being part of the URL. So we'd prefer to use a product code because that's more semantic. We don't really want this in our UN ID. We'd rather have say slash product slash this. And if you recall in the last video, what we'll be doing, what we'll be doing with this is first calling the Domino REST API to get a list of all the products. And then for each one, we'll make an invocation of the REST API to get the full data for that product. Descriptions would, by their nature, tend to be longer. That's why they're not retrieved in the list. Strictly speaking, the only thing we truly need in the list would be the product code, because the product code will form part of what we call the slug in the URL. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part of the path in the URL. So, so far, so good. And we'll continue in this series with how do we do the static site generation. Thanks for watching.